Okay, a uh, simple method to make a GT leader is to uh, fold back the leader onto itself and make a twisted section. So what I've got here is a nice supple 200 pound leader and uh, fold back about 40 centimetres or so back on itself. We'll just get that slide on a piece of plastic tubing. Swivel. Then we need to crimp this section, so we'll just slide a, a crimp down from the other end. So we have crimp with a plastic tubing sleeve. Squash that fellow down. Then with this section here, we twist it back on itself. This is to provide protection against uh, gill rakers and uh, occasionally teeth, but particularly the gill rakers of a GT. Just twist it through your fingers so the, the strands unwind as you go. Then we crimp the other end as well in place. Slide another crimp down. Okay, so we have a twisted section to give extra protection around gill rakers, nice heavy duty swivel in the end to connect everything up with, and then a regular 200 pound leader which gives protection against uh, uh, fins and uh, tail scoots and things like that, and also uh, can go through the guides relatively easily. The only last thing I like to do is put a little piece of heat shrink tubing over the, uh, the last crimp there. The purpose of the heat shrink is simply so that if you're not paying attention and you wind it into the, into the guides, then you've got a little bit of protection for your, your tip guide rather than having rather than having the metal go straight into your guides. And that's ready to be tied on. The second method is to uh, use your your lighter leader, the 200 pound leader, and then crimp that directly onto a heavier piece of leader, something like this uh, very heavy 400 pound Marla ultra hard Momoi stuff. So this gives a, a single strand leader, this is a, a very tough abrasion resistant leader, and then we can match that up to a much softer, more supple leader for the, the back end of the leader. Grab some crimps for those. The trick is to find a crimp which will just fit the, uh, the heavy leader but can also accommodate uh, the finer, finer leader in there as well. So just have to be careful with your crimping and making sure that the two are uh, going to stay where you put them. As you crimp, you flip the crimp over when you go along the longer crimps. It stops the crimp from being bent like a banana.
make sure that those crimps are going to hold nicely, give them a good test before we use them as well. It's uh, always worth uh, pulling on them to make sure that they, they're doing the job that was intended. At the business end, you can sleeve these as well, but uh, 400 pound on the GT, it's unlikely to wear through on the on the swivel, so generally I just crimp it straight on to our swivel. Usually I replace my leaders reasonably frequently, so uh, on a heavy one like this, yeah, it's uh, the loop is unlikely to get too fatigued before I would tend to just uh, pull it off and replace it with a new leader. piece of heat shrink on the end there. Two nice, quick and easy to make leaders.